each and every single one of us aspires to be loved by Allah. Who is it amongst us that would not say that they want to love Allah and be loved by Allah? Each and every single one of us would. Well, how do we get to the point? How do I build myself up so that I become truly beloved to Allah? Well, Allah tells us in the Quran, قُلْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهَ فَاتَّبِعُونِي يُحْبِبُكُمُ اللَّهُ وَيَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ ذُنُوبَكُمُ اللَّهُ غَفُرُ الرَّحِيمُ Allah tells the Prophet ﷺ, say to them, إِن كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهَ If you truly claim to love Allah, فَاتَّبِعُونِي Then follow me. Follow the example of the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ. يُحْبِبُكُمُ اللَّهُ وَيَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ ذُنُوبَكُمْ And then Allah will love you and Allah will forgive all of your sins. This is a very important and powerful issue of our love, our loyalty, and our connection to the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ. So much so the Prophet ﷺ actually told us, لَا يُؤْمِنُوا أَحَدُكُمْ None of you truly believes حَتَّى أَكُونَ أَحَبَّ إِلَيْهِ مِنْ وَالِدِهِ وَوَلَدِهِ وَنَاسِ يَجْمَعِينَ Until I, meaning Muhammad وسلم, become more beloved to that person than their own parents, their children, and all of humanity. So the love of the Prophet وسلم, and loving the Messenger وسلم, is a part of our faith. And it is a part of our connection and our loyalty and our love for Allah. And so it's something that we all need to cultivate and we all need to think about. And inshallah, I look forward to in the next few videos to talk about how we can cultivate that love of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam.